Hello everyone, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. This one going to show you how to edit videos for TikTok in Premiere Pro and how to export them so that they're the correct settings. It's very easy to do. Let me show you. I've got some standard widescreen footage here of this guy vacuuming the desert as you do. Everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up. There we go. And I want to make it so that it's TikTok friendly and it's not in this current status. So let's go ahead. First thing, go to sequence. Go to sequence settings, and this is the most important part. When it says frame size, right now, it doesn't matter what this says. If you want it to be vertical, the Brazilian, so to speak, go 1080, and then on the frame size, on the on and then on the vertical, 1920. So it's not 1920, 1080, it's 1080, 1920. Very, very important. Now click on OK. Yep, click on OK, doesn't matter what that says. And then presto, this is now TikTok friendly. But you'll also notice that our subject isn't quite centered in the screen the way we'd like to. So I'm going to double click on him. And I'm also going to go ahead and turn this to 25%. So here's going to show you the bounding bars around the outside. So for this to look proper, I'm going to move this a little bit to the left. And I'm also going to pull it down so that the edges are uh, closer so basically I want as much in this as possible so I've pulled these bars down and I've basically moved him to the left a little bit now let's take a look at what we got okay it's not bad but you know what it isn't perfect but unless you want black bars at the top and you may want that for whatever reason this is the correct way to do it now in order to uh, export it you just want to go to file export Keeping in mind that you need to be below 286.7 or something like that megabytes file size. So if you're in the close to 300, this here is estimating it at 45. So we're way within the, um, the correct amount. But again, keep that in mind. Uh, you will also want to go ahead and make sure that you've got a high quality. I'm going to go with a high quality 1080p. And the format H.264 is just fine. And if you want to go down the rabbit hole and start changing different, um, you know, things go ahead but honestly the h264 default is just fine in almost all cases hit export that's all you need to do guys thanks for watching ton more stuff coming up